So I've woken up this morning to an overwhelming response to posting that video yesterday. I'm absolutely amazed at the response that I've received, not only from all my friends and my, my family for all of your beautiful messages and your words of support and kindness, thank you, um, but all of the inbox messages that I've received from people that I don't know, people that are just interested in my journey, people that are also going through a similar journey themselves, um, just wanting to reach out to me and that's awesome I'm, I'm really I'm really pleased that that was what my intention was by posting the video um, so I'm being asked a lot about myself and and what kind of cancer that I've got so I figured that that would be a good place to start today so obviously my name's Hayley I'm 35 years old I'm married and I've got four children I've got 13 month old four year old six year old and my eldest is 15 um, and, and I'm a, I'm a nurse, I'm a health visitor. So that's a bit about myself. Um, and the type of cancer that I've got, it's, it's classed as a head and neck cancer, which really sounds quite scary. Well, it, it scared me when, when I was told it's a head and neck cancer. Um, my diagnosis currently, it keeps changing and the doctors seem to be very confused. Um, about the type of cancer that I have. They call me a complex case but the diagnosis that, that my new consultant, Professor Nutting, is, is very sure about. And it's called uh, metastatic squamous cell carcinoma. So the metastatic part means that it is a, a secondary cancer. It's spread from a primary source. Um, it was here in my neck. I don't know if you can see my scar, my lovely scar. Um, that was where the tumour was, um, in one of the lymph nodes, and um, by the time they removed it, it was the size of a lemon. It was really quite big. Um, the metastatic, so the squamous cell part of the diagnosis means the type of cell that the cancer has, um, has attacked, has turned into, has damaged. Um, and squamous cells are found in the upper respiratory tract, so kind of from here up and they're found in the skin and they're found in the stomach, in the gut lining. Um, so yeah, it's my squamous cells that have been damaged and um, obviously the carcinoma means the, um, the cancer. So it's a secondary tumour, so that means it's spread from somewhere. Um, unfortunately in my case the doctors aren't really sure where it's spread from. They think it's spread from somewhere in my throat area, tonsils, back of the tongue um, and for months they've been sort of discussing um, exactly where where they think it is. So um, I underwent another surgery, I've had a bilateral tonsillectomy and a panendoscopy of the oropharynx uh, which means they take biopsies from behind the throat, behind the nose and behind the tongue and um, obviously more PET scans um, but nothing showed up any more cancer. So my consultant, Professor Nutting, he is he's convinced that it's um, originated at the back of my tongue and it's it's so it's such a small piece of cancer and it's so deep in the tongue that um, it's undetected by the PET scan. So the the reason they're saying that I have cancer is because of a virus. It's called the HPV virus. And the HPV virus is the leading cause of cervical cancer in women. Um, but more and more these days, um, it's affecting younger women like myself uh, with oral, oral cancers, throat cancers, head and neck cancers. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about my, my cancer. Um, it's quite scary not knowing where it is. Um, I've been tormenting myself, worrying that it's it's somewhere else in my body. Is it gone to my lungs? Has it gone to my my stomach? Um, and although the doctors kind of reassure me that they they're quite sure that it's in this area, that's really my biggest concern at the moment. Their treatment plan for me at the moment is is quite a hefty treatment plan. I'm having radical radiotherapy with the chemotherapy. So that means that they're aiming me both sides of my neck. So it's going to be coming from both sides and on the inside. Um, 
to hopefully destroy any cancer that's there. So today I'm going back up to the Royal Marsden. I'm getting quite familiar with that journey up there. It's a bit of a trek, but um, I really feel quite safe when I'm there and quite confident in the team that are looking after me. So today I've got to go for this kidney function test. So they're going to inject me with um, a kind of placebo chemo drug um, to, to see how well my kidneys are functioning, to see how well I'm going to cope with all of the crappy chemicals that they're going to put inside my body, which we call chemotherapy. Um, so that's going to take four hours this morning. And then this afternoon, I've got to have the CT scan, which is another injection of some kind of contrast dye, um, which is going to shoot through my veins and sort of highlight to my, my oncologist and the team where all my lymph nodes are and where exactly they're going to aim the radiotherapy. So I'm just getting ready to leave and to go up to London. Um, I'm going to sign off now, but um, I'll post again later today or tomorrow and um, just keep everyone updated. Thanks. Bye.